Hey, what's good? It's Cadillac Tracks. This is Quick Tip number seven. Today's Quick Tip is about latency. It always surprises me when I meet people that have just started making beats and uh, they don't know anything about latency. They never had a buffer or a latency problem. They don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. And uh, this is a problem you're probably going to run into when you get serious with your music. You're going to start to see that the audio is skipping. It's got little pops in it and uh, you don't know why. I'm going to play this. This is a song I was working on last night. And uh, I'm just going to play this. Uh, my computer can kind of handle this, but I'm going to show you some things. And there we go. As you can see, I started the song. It started static and skipping. And look up here. This is my computer processor. It's uh, The load is almost at 100%. It's almost saying it's, it's too much, man. But uh, let's go ahead and play it again and see if we can get it to act right. A lot of time you'll try it over and over. Alright, so it's not going to work. The reason it's not working is because we have a lot of stuff going on in the project. I'm just going to show you a brief overview. We have this uh, choir, piano, bell. I think two or three of these are Omnisphere plugins. And some of these are Nexus plugins. So uh, here I have you know, three or four Omnispheres open and two Nexuses open. That takes processing power and makes your computer move slow. And it's not about how much RAM you got on your computer. Matter of fact, it no matter how fast your computer is, it's still gonna buckle when you when you crank it up. A lot of y'all don't have this problem because y'all aren't cranking up. Y'all don't have Omnisphere. You don't have any plugins. You're using simple simple beat, and it works. And uh, it works with this Fruity Loops ASIO. This comes with the program. This is a default sound driver this is crap you don't want to use this unless this is all you got or unless you're just starting off and you install fruity loops and an aso is working for you a lot of times you can get away with this because it allows you to get a buffer of six milliseconds this milliseconds what this means is every time i push a key on my piano it's going to be six milliseconds delay before i hear the sound if your buffer is high like this right now with the beat not being able to play i have to turn the buffer up so i'm gonna go ahead and try that real quick we're gonna turn it up to 1024. as you can see it went from six milliseconds to 24 milliseconds actually 143 milliseconds here let's play the song so a little bit better it, uh, it made a little more progress before I bumped it. But if I was to play a key at this point, the key would be 24 milliseconds off on my piano. Basically, I couldn't play any MIDI notes or play anything on the piano because it would be so far off and it won't sync up with the beat. Everything would be off. And this is very important. The only way to really work around this buffer thing, like I said, it's not about how fast your computer is. Ah, crap. Uh, excuse me. It's not about how fast your computer is. What it is is about, it's about your audio driver so i'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna switch to this yamaha steinberg audio driver that i have this is something i bought from guitar center an audio driver or sound card is going to cost you about 100 150 bucks um, i try to bring it down to 64 i want this milliseconds i want this to be as small and as low as possible i want it to be zero milliseconds if, if you're making beats and you're up here 30 40 milliseconds you don't know what you, you don't know any better you need to drop it down so that you can get a faster response on your midi at the same time, you want to balance it to where it's not 99% on your computer. Um, this is latency. This is a quick tip number seven. Um, the tip is that you need to make sure that you have yourself a dedicated audio driver or sound card. It's going to help you get your buffer down lower so that your MIDI notes can come in faster and you have a faster response. It's also going to help the audio quality. Um, when a project gets done like this, or once, once you get to cooking on a project, it starts to process power, and you'll find yourself having to go in here and change the bar bring it up usually when i make a beat it's at 64 when i'm done making the beat and it's time to mix i have to bring it up to plugins there's too much going on on the processor that's going to slow down the computer and if you look right here it'll show you how much delay you have right now with all your plugins uh, this is just a quick tip on latency it's important to keep your latency down low if you don't know any better get yourself a sound card stop using the fruit loops asio driver you'll have better quality it's a quick tip number seven one.